let's complete the code so people who have done this problem will help me write this faster so vector of okay, i do not like typing this again again full so i'll just do a type def type def of this vi so that i can write it vector of vi and really i can make that also shorter yeah. vector of vi is multiply multiply matrices vector of vi m1 vector of vi m2 these two matrices we have to multiply and return here we have to make, fill and give a square matrix so what i will do is i will take vector so identity matrix vector of vi let me take uh, answer answer i'll take as r vector of int and i'll say c right so here we will fill diagonals with one for i0 i less than r i plus plus and let me make this as zeros by default they are zero so i'll fill only diagonals so answer of i i is equal to one and return answer so identity filling is this here we will take an answer matrix which is multiplication of so let's say answer is equal to same way like we did that previous one so we take the answer in third matrix and we will eventually return that answer matrix okay so how do we write code for matrix multiplication for int i 0 i less than r i plus plus for int j 0 j less than c j plus plus r and c i'll directly take from the input int r is equal to m1 dot size for here i'm let me just make things simple for now i'll assume it is square matrix ideally we can do multiplication for rectangular also but just to cut short on the thing in k is equal to 0 k less than r k plus plus okay so what will be our answer answer of ij plus is equal to answer of ik into answer of kj is that correct way of multiplying two matrices we have filled by zero by default okay ik and okay not answer it should be yeah, m1 of ik and m2 of k yeah because we are multiplying those two matrices yeah thanks bro right so we are filling our answer matrix with that let me see here did i make any mistake yeah here also rc was not uh, taken so oh here rc was input parameter so no worries so identity done multiply function done this function was nothing but a replica of what we did earlier okay so this looks good let me just put few more things so that we can see this code working io stream not io stream bits stdc plus plus dot h using namespace st okay so let's go back g plus plus matrix exponentiation okay n is odd i just wrote that in plain english so let's just correct that n is odd is here so how do i check if n is odd So ideally, we typically do modulo, but modulo is slower operation than bitwise. So bitwise is much faster. Okay. So yeah, we have put that. Let's see if the rest of the code is fine. Okay. So we got our code compiled. Just for validation, let me take our matrix as. input so int t c in t while t minus minus we'll take two things in first is the uh, rc in our case we'll make it right now square matrix only r okay so for int i0 i less than r i plus plus for int j0 j less than r j plus plus we'll say c in 
uh, mat of ij and mat of ij i'll just declare and after reading the matrix we will call this function matrix power n and i will pass mat and we will pass n for now i'm just okay this also we should take as input let's say n so r and n n is the power okay we will get this answer into vector of vector of into vector of vi this is our answer and then we will go and print that answer print matrix answer okay so this we should declare a mat also here so for every test case when we are reading this answer is r vector of int of r zero yeah so only thing remaining is print matrix so we are passing r also so let me just take r and put r here and here let me pass r also so otherwise i'll have to do this size in that function okay so this should be good and let's write the input that is what we calculated so 5 2 9 6 is the matrix i'm taking one test case matrix is 3 2 cross 2 5 6 next line was 5 2 9 6 and we are calculating the power of this as 2 square we calculated with manually so i'll say mat x dot inp it should be good now okay got compiled a dot exe mat exp dot inp so it says 44 22 99 54 okay is that what we said is the answer 43 22 99 54 so we got the correct answer now what we want to do is we do not want to restrict ourselves here we want to go back and say calculate this matrix to the power 10. compile and run at the same time this ampersand is making two commands lined up first command then second command just to hit enter so this is the answer obviously integer overflow is happening because when you calculate power 10 you'll be doing a lot of multiplications you'll be getting 